You're on. Hey, I'm Sean from Holcomb's Market Ceramics. I'm the wine, beer, and spirits team over here. I'm also a certified Cicerone, and uh, we're here to talk about beer and the Super Bowl. Uh, two things that go great together. Uh, we'll talk about food pairings, beer styles. Uh, got a few selections here that we'll go through real briefly. Uh, first one being Victory Prima Pills. Um, just a little tidbit on it, it's uh, in Downingston, Pennsylvania, it's local, we love local here in the store. Um, it's a Pilsner, which is a German style, but they kind of Americanize it with more of a hop character that you should get in a German Pilsner. Um, so this will be a touch more bitter um, than the usual Pilsner that you're used to from Europe. Um, but it doesn't mean you should stray away from it, it's a really nice, bright, um, almost citrus character you get from those West Coast hops. Um, another local, if you love your hops, you'll love this, this is from Six Point, they brew out of Brooklyn. Um, this is their resin, which is a double IPA in style, a double India Pale Ale. This is for your um, real beer geeky friends that love hops. They're going to get smacks of hop flavor in this. The name resin comes from the resin in the hop cone that they really try to extract in this beer to get that full range of flavor. Um, try that in a can. Don't be afraid of a can. Um, it's actually really good for the beer. It keeps it out of the light. Um, and actually, the UV light will stop the beer. That's the big thing you want to keep away from. And it also cools down faster for the beginning. Um, on the local theme, um, this is Brewery Omegon's Wit, which is a wit beer. Um, it's becoming more and more popular for style year-round. Um, this is definitely a good entry-level craft beer um, in that the flavors are very approachable. It's made with coriander and citrus peel. Um, some, some spices they throw in there that make it very refreshing, very light on the palate. Um, and again, with that citrus character, you can just think of all the food applications of that. But we'll get to that later. Um, moving right along, out of our local category, we have Goose Island Nut Brown Ale, which is, they brew it in a British style. Um, and the Nut Brown is just what it means. You get a lot of nutty flavors in this beer. Um, it also hits of chocolate, um, coffee, very subtle in the background. So this is for someone who wants to try a darker beer but doesn't want to try a stout. I would say try this beer. Next beer is Firestone Walker Wookie Gap, which is a black IPA, which will be black like a stout, so you get some of those roasty flavors. Um, but you'll also get a really nice hop character with this one. So this is a relatively new style of the beer. Um, it's developed over the last 10, 20 years or so. Um, very good. And again, this is also for your hop, your hop machine who really like this hop flavor. It's also brewed a little bit of rye, which plays really nicely with those spicy um, citrus flavors of the hops. Um, Really fun style, really enjoy this beer. Um, next beer in honor of uh, Colorado being the Super Bowl is Avery Out of Bounds Stout. Um, this is made in the dry Irish style. Um, so this will be for, um, actually, I believe it's a little stronger than the dry Irish style. It's about 6%. So this will be a little bit more robust than your Guinness draft is. Um, let's have all those dark roasty flavors, nice hops in the background, but really more play on the dark roast coffee, espresso, uh, bitter chocolate. Uh, all those flavors will get you. Um, and lastly, for your um, gluten free that still want to enjoy beverage with the game, we've got another local product, this Doc's Draft Pear Hard Apple Cider. Um, really fun product. We carry the whole line here at the store. Um, this one is made with pear, some malic acid, and some champagne yeast. Um, it's super refreshing. Um, and also, it's different with the pear and the apple cider together. It's something a little different for your person. Um, we're just getting into gluten free and still learning what's out there. Um, I guess we love both of them. So, this is within an hour from here they make this up at Warwick Valley. So, we're big fans of that as well. Um, and in terms of food and beer um, for the big game, a couple things to keep in mind. Um, for your more hop centric beers, they're going to have a lot of bitterness to them. You don't want to really pair them with spicy food unless you're a, a spice beer because they will accentuate the spice beyond what it is. Even if it's a medium spice, it just brings out the spice even more. Um, so with beers like these guys, out of my set, even the Prima Pills to some extent, will kind of uh, really draw out that spice character. Um, and then in terms of your lighter fare, again, like I said, with this, um, with this wit, it's got that citrus peel in it, so just think of anything you would pair with citrus, I mean, your, your lighter cheese dishes. This also really does really good with uh, with Mexican food, and spicy, like your guac, uh, spicy guacamole salsas. Go with your whipped beer. Um, it's going to really play well. Uh, coriander plays well with the other spices, and cilantro and stuff. It's 
slammed up with that. Um, these two feeders, even to some extent, this will be jack. Anything that's got that darker, maltier profile, um, you're going to want to pair with uh, your chicken, your burgers. Um, again, you get a lot of, because you're using grain, you're going to get a lot of those same um, toasted flavors that you're going to find um, in the buns and maybe like on the breading of a fried food. Um, and then the roasted character of these two is going to play really good with the char on a burger um, or a heavily grilled chicken. Um, uh, yeah. And people can customize their selections, yes? Oh yeah, here at the store, I mean, we've got, we just expanded our cold section, so we have more cold beer than we've ever had at the store, uh, both in individual cans and bottles, six-packs, 12-packs. We also have a make-your-own six-pack wall with six-pack carriers, you can mix and match any craft beer set you want, uh, cans, bottles, for the most part, everything we have, you can mix together to make your own six-pack. Like I said, we love local. We're trying to carry the latest and newest local beers. The dad's just about them. We'll show them. We're actually in the process of setting up these three cooler doors are going to all be local beer. Um, and then we have gluten free for your gluten free fans. We have a case of all gluten free beers and ciders that we're eventually going to move a little bit, but it'll still be a whole thing. So, ciders, um, beers, and other, for example, we have the glutenator. They can't use traditional grains, they'll use stuff like sorghum, and this one uses uh, potato and uh, molasses as well. So they're getting more and more creative as the, the category grows, more and more people are looking for it. Um, so ask us about that, we can point you in that direction. Yeah.